father of suspected MLK bomber Kevin Harpam says he wouldn't be surprised if his son helped build the bomb that was placed along the Martin Luther King Jr. Unity Parade route in downtown Spokane. Cecil Harpam says while his son may have had a hand in making the bomb, he says more people must be involved because he claims Kevin was with him all day on January 17th, the day the bomb was planted. Today. Cecil Harpin spoke out for the first time on camera. KXLY4 Sally Showman sat down with him at his Kettle Falls home, and Sally is live tonight in Stevens County. Cecil Harpam has visited his son once so far in jail. He tells me he wanted to ask him if his son had any involvement in the MLK bomb plot, but he tells me Kevin wouldn't talk to him, wouldn't even talk to his own father about any potential involvement because Kevin says his lawyer advised him against talking to anyone because everything at the jail is recorded. So Cecil tonight, like many of us, still have many unanswered questions. This must be your worst nightmare. Of course, yes. The last week has been a whirlwind for 68-year-old Cecil Harpam. It saddens me to think that he might have had uh, a hand in building it. Although he says his son had racist tendencies and an interest in building bombs, Cecil says his son could not have planted the bomb. I will not lie for him for anything. He claims Kevin never left the day of the parade. Cecil says he was sitting in this very chair recovering after a stroke and Kevin was in the kitchen when they heard about the MLK bomb for the first time. Cooking hamburger right here. Cooking hamburgers when you saw breaking news on the TV. That's right. But still, he's not saying his son is innocent. He says Kevin regularly talked to racist people on the internet and he believes there's more than just his son involved. I've always told him you don't swim with the sharks because sooner or later they're gonna, you're going to get bit. That was what he was doing. Even though Kevin wasn't shy about expressing his racist ideology, his dad says he never acted on it. He don't even know how to hate. He just says, he says he hates him. But when he's talking to him, there's no hate, no nothing in, in it. I always told him, I said, you talk the talk, but you don't walk the walk. Cecil's life and home have been turned upside down. They went over every inch of this place with a fine tooth comb. You name it, if it's here, it was looked at 27 times. Agents served a search warrant here. They took gopher poisoning pipe Phillips screwdrivers, all of which could be used as shrapnel in a bomb. My screws, they took a whole bunch of screws. He'll get all of his things back. He just hopes he gets his son back too. For him to get put in prison scares me. Cecil says Kevin moved in with him after he had a stroke in November. He tells me today the best thing that ever happened to him was that stroke so that he could be his son's alibi and know for sure that his son did not plant that bomb in downtown Spokane. Now, one thing Cecil wanted to make sure that I mentioned in tonight's newscast is how polite the FBI and the Stevens County Sheriff's Office was to him uh, throughout the course of this investigation. Live in Stevens County, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.